All right, All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a tutorial video on the Sarcosuchus, which is a playable dino on the official roster for the Path of Titans uh, game. Uh, this is a very popular dino. Um, so a lot of people are really confused on how to play him or maybe don't know how to play him properly uh, with the nerf and or overall just in general. Um, so I have my friend Gator here. So say hello, Gator. Hello. Hello. Uh, so he's going to be assisting me in uh, teaching you guys some of the best cro the crocodilian ways and showing you guys how to properly use this guy to his max potential. So if you were not to include combat weight, a full charge bite from a Sarko does exactly 800 damage. Blatantly, 800 damage is the strongest hitting ability by itself. So any other charge bite in the game does not compare to how much damage the Sarko Sucus does with its charge bite making it an expert in flanking with its dash ability to come onto land. Now, depending on your play style and how you want to play the Sarko, um, there's some things that I will suggest as an absolute need of the Sarko. One, double defense. So you're gonna do defense subspecies as well as defense scales. So the thick scales option, as you guys can see here, I have that always on. Uh, the reason why is because most bigger dinos, like the apex of the, the waters, the spino, as well as the Suko are gonna do a tremendous amount of damage to you as a Sarkosuchus. So having that defense is really key. A lot of people don't realize, but those subspecies for speed does not increase your speed by literally anything. I have done a test multiple times with a speed Sarko next to a defense Sarko, both with thick scales going the exact same time and do not see any speed difference. The speed one does not increase speed, it's actually the exact same. So the negatives of having the def negative of defense and more speed does not seem to be anything. I don't know if that's just a bug or what it is or not, but it does not have any value to speed. As a Sarko, you are still relatively fast in the water. You do keep up quite a bit. Obviously, you're not the fastest. Uh, speed Spino, I think, does uh, speed outspeed you, I think, maybe. I'm not really 100% sure. I was swimming backwards against the Speed Spino the other day, and I was seeming to keep up with it quite well. Um, now that brings me to my first tip for the Sarkosuchus. If you are trying to save stamina and you are in a battle in the water, swimming backwards while holding your sprint key allows you to go faster without using any stam, as you guys can see. If I go forward, my stamina bar starts to drain, but it'll start to replenish back when I go backwards because it is no longer considering myself using any stamina. So if you need to get out of a trace while you're really low stam, swimming backwards while using your sprint key is your best option. Now a very popular spot for... PvP amongst the uh, the Gondawa map is right here, right next to Crater at this little river right here. Um, this is probably one of my favorite spots to sit as a Sarko due to the fact that it has such great angles that people don't expect. So I'm going to have my friend Gator go over here, you know that spot that I showed you earlier up in that hill? Yep, I got So you. go to the further end though, uh, where that little cliff edge is. So right here in front of me, as you guys can see, there's a little ledge here, which you would think you can't get up, but the Sarko actually can. It can manage to get up there. And not right there, go down more. Because that one's a little bit more difficult. So this ridge right here where he's standing, right there, you actually can't get up that. It's very difficult. But right here at the end, you can, which people do not realize. So I can sit here and charge up my bite. And he can be on that little ledge right there. And I am now up here at his face, able to uh, take him out accordingly. So it's really good to uh, shoot up here. It really catches people off guard. They really aren't going to be expecting you to shoot up on them like that. So um, first thing, actually, before we get too deep into the, the cool angles, this as a flanking Sarko, uh, flanking Sarko, in my opinion, are the best options you have. So this is going back to where I was saying before it builds. Uh, you have the bleed bite and then the charge bite. I always have the charge bite no matter what. It's too much damage to not have as a Sarko. Uh, so it's definitely a need to have that charge bite, but a lot of people will kind of swap out the normal bite and the bleed bite. In my opinion, if you're doing flanks as the Sarko Sucus, the bleed bite is probably one of your best uh, that you can do. The bleed for the Sarko Sucus is the best bleed that we currently have in the game for base dinos. I'm not really 100% sure how it compares against the uh, modded dinos, but in terms of bleeding, uh, is the best bleed that is in the game currently. So that is probably your best bet. Do that. Obviously, you have your dash as well, thick scale, the defense, everything. Just making sure that you're able to survive when coming on land. Now, if you're in land PvP, land combat, um, the bleed still does a decent amount, and it still can be really good during a fight on land. I don't ever swap them out personally, 
but the normal bite is pretty good as well. It will allow you to hash out more damage uh, per second rather than having to charge up this, which is something that, let's say me and him were getting into combat, he can wait out this charge. Once this charge is down, I only have, I have two seconds in order to actually charge up on this again. But what people don't know is once that charge is done, I actually can almost immediately afterwards do the bleed attack. The bleed is probably the worst cooldown with a nice four second cooldown in order to use the bleed again, giving you about a minute and a, or a second and a half to use any abilities whatsoever. So if you're ever going against a Sarko player and they use their bleed attack, you do have a period of time before they can actually hurt you since they have to charge up their other attack. So keeping an eye on that is really good. So not having to worry about cooldowns is really nice when having the repetitive uh, biting damage. But me personally, if I'm doing an ambush on someone, I'm going to want to do the bleeds rather. Now, if you're familiar with combat at all, when it comes to uh, Path of Titans, it is uh, aerial damage. So if I shoot a full charge shot into his chest or into his side, it is going to do a significant amount of less damage than it would when I were to go for his head. Any dino that is laying down or sitting down does take an increased amount of damage. I believe it's, uh, I believe it's 1.5 extra damage uh, for sitting down and then two times extra damage for laying down. I'm not really 100% sure about that, the numbers exactly, but it does significant amount of damage. So uh, that is probably something you want to aim out for. So if you notice something laying down or sitting down, that is a big target for you to go for. Uh, a Sukumimus laying down completely is able to get one shot as well as a Sarko Sukus double defense is able to get one shot. Oh no, balanced Sarko is able to get one shot while laying down. It does an incredible amount of damage and it is very good to keep an eye on that. So one thing a lot of people don't realize when they're going for flanks as a Sarko, they like to do their dash too far back and it causes them to get less uh, range on land. So as you can see right here, I am not able to go underwater and be as hidden as I want to. So if you are a player that is trying to avoid getting flanked by Sarkos in a perfect manner, this spot side of the water right here, about right here in this little divot is where I usually drink due to the fact that it is more difficult for Sarko players to come at you. Now, if we go down here though, down here it does not have that negative uh, sand beach there or however you might say it. So you're able to get a lot closer and able to flank. So if I were to do it here, I don't get as much distance on land as I would want to, but it still gives me a good amount of distance that I could actually probably kill someone if they aren't too far away. Now, if you are using your dash ability and trying to come onto land, your best bet is to hold your shift key while you're pushing forward. It will give you the most amount of distance. In that case right there, I did let go of the shift key, so it did slow me down. But your best bet is to when you're getting going for the uh, dashes to get as close to land as possible before you hit your dash because that does keep that speed and momentum while you're on land as long as you activate it in the water. So we'll do that example here. Keeping that speed allows me to actually get someone that would be sitting up here, which is a pretty common spot for people to lay and sit down while fighting a Sarko, thinking that they are safe, and in reality, they are not. Now, uh, the big thing about Sarkos that is really annoying, that is hard to play as them, if you may, uh, is their charge bite when trying to ambush. Uh, it is very loud and is obnoxiously loud, and it makes it very difficult for to catch. Uh, it makes it very difficult to catch people off guard. So, I suggest. Uh, holding it for about this much time and then dashing on no matter what you're still going to be doing a really good amount of damage uh, if you're able to hold off that uh that initial thing so let's say so come get a drink like act like you're about to get a drink and if i really wanted to so let's say i'm underwater right so act like you're about to get ambushed by a sarko you hear it and now you know to run away so what i'll do oh not like that. <laughs> not the rock man but what you basically are going to do is you're going to try to momentum yourself past them and get in front of them slightly so that you're not only able to get that headshot in, but your charge is going to be able to last that much longer. So I'm actually going to show off the, uh, <laughs> the glitch where you can get stamina back while I'm trying to get stamina back. Yeah, ridiculously OP Saturday. I usually use that a lot against my Spinos. So <clears throat> the tips on here are really going to be really lackluster. I might have to like come back and do it again at some point just because yeah. like I'm probably going to miss something and I don't have to come back. But so, all right. So let's say he's going to get a drink of water. He doesn't know what I'm here. I have my charge. He knows to run away. 
Now I'm going to get in front of him, and I can now get a full charge bite right into him, and he would not be able to do anything about it. So being able to body block is a good thing. Against the Suko, uh, it's not really that ideal, so go ahead and bleed me once. Actually, oh my god. Hold on, maybe headshot me. Try that. All right. Oh, wow. You really don't do as much as you used to. They must have nerfed that. Mm. Maybe it's in the water. Try it in the water. Maybe this is, might be a, another statement that I need to make. I swear they used to... Oh, they did, didn't they increase their armor at one point? I have no idea. Try now. No, it doesn't do much damage. Okay, then it's the Spinos you got to worry about. Suko's definitely going to be scary to... Uh, to go against, but definitely not as scary as I thought they were gonna be. Uh, I can um I can spawn in as my spino if you want. Um yeah, let's do a spino combat real quick, and I can give, maybe give a little tutorial. On it. All right, now the spino. So we'll do a damage test of the spino real quick. One bleed to the body. Doesn't do much bleed actually. So the bleed is not where you have to worry about, but that base damage is pretty high. That is a pretty good amount of damage. Now, so tell me how much a full charge bite does to you. Uh, I'd say about almost 10%. That's not bad. That's not bad. But the thing that you have to think about when you're in the water, so come in the water with me, is their head is very much forward and very much higher than you. Your dash ability that in the water does do damage. So if you stay still, I'll show that off. Never mind. You missed. <laughs> <It> just goes <laughs> through him. Okay. <laughs> but let's show the full charge bite off into the head. See, as you can see right here, they are able to be headshotted perfectly right there. Ooh, yike! That does a lot uh, of damage, don't it? <laughs> yeah, that does do a lot of damage. Uh, I'd say it's about uh, like the size of little ability squares, but a little bit longer. Okay, so a decent amount. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. And I, that's with thick hide on, too. Yeah, that's thick scales. That's the defense spino, or is that a speed spino? Uh, normal. Balanced. It's no, a balanced spino. Okay. So, yeah, defense spino would obviously be much different. Um, so, let's show you an example. So, you are able to dash into people. Oh, it doesn't do that? Huh. Maybe it's only against other crocs. You split, you can dash like that and actually damage um, Dino. I'm pretty sure they changed that when they did the water update. Oh, is that what it is? Yup. Oh, okay. So that's no longer that kind of... Okay, so I retract what I said. I apologize. That is the old school me thinking about the old school Sarko. My apologies. But, you can just yeah. edit that out. Yeah, we'll, we'll edit that out. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so as a Sarko versus a Spino, so how... Uh, do you want to recover a little bit before we 1v1? And oh, just give a little example of some combat. It's kind of easier for me to show. Uh, oh, Yeah. Yeah, let's recover it. So now, there we do you go. play Spino a lot? Uh, mm, occasionally. Um, I definitely prefer it over Rex. I, 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 I'm still really hard, having a hard time debating. I think, personally, I think the charge bite on the Spino might be better. I know it's not as good as the Sarkos, and it doesn't do that much damage at all. But mm -hmm. most of your damage is coming from your claws. So having that charge bite, I don't see why that would be an L. Yeah, uh, charge bite is... It's difficult mostly because of how much of a wind up time it is. Yeah. Um, it, it's Loud. you're you stick out a lot more, especially with your sail as Sarko. You really can't ambush anybody. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's more like a Rex charge bite, but you don't have the the um the kind of like lunge ability a rex does with the little yeah. Yeah. yeah all right now you we have a lot of people in here now this is yeah we gotta get to finish this up all right continue ready mm -hmm. all right three call and we'll go so i will try to walk you guys through uh my combat while we're playing so i know he's in front of me i'm gonna go ahead and charge up my main ability be able to hit him on the way like that and then, if he wants to full charge on me, I can just backwards run and conserve my stamina while waiting for that cooldown. At the same time, I can go ahead and charge up another bite. Get another that bite in, and I can go ahead and get a bleed in while we're there. This is perfect for trying to keep your damage going as much as possible, whilst trying to keep this Spino 
and damage as much as possible. So a good amount of bleed right there. A good amount of damage. I'm already at half. And I have barely been touched. <laughs> yeah. And I can't see you half the time when you're in the water. Whereas you can see me with my sail sticking out clear yeah. as day. All right, all right, all right. You good? Um, um, oh. Yeah. And that is a GG's for the spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Not even touched. <laughs> but that is how you PvP ice spine on the water. Now, uh, I will go through more, deep, maybe more tutorials later, maybe a better, a better tutorial than this later on, or we'll add more to this. I really don't know what's going to happen yet. But for now, this is the end of the tutorial. So say hello, goodbye to the cute puppy, and maybe we'll get some good croc content later on this, uh, on this server. If you guys do want to join on this server, it would be awesome. Uh, it is Rust Bucket Server. Uh, this is it's just called Rust. Rust. I just literally type in Rust and that pops up for me. I think it's literally just called Rust Bucket or Rust. I can't remember. Yeah. Rust? It's, I'm pretty sure it's just Rustlands or something Rust like Lands, that. Rustlands, that's what it is. I'm getting blanking. I'll put a picture in there, and uh, I'll put a Discord link into the description as well. And, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate all of that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Jordan, get this fight going. Just one second. So you're fully grown now? Yep. Cool. Um, one second. So you want us muted? Oh, you don't have to mute. Just oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoa, okay, he just moved me. You not gonna come to water, big man? Did while well, he moved you? I said you're aquatic, come on in. And he says, no, thank you. That's hilarious, oh my gosh. Here, Gator, you want me to stream so you can watch? Nah, I'm good. Okay. He's not getting close enough on land. I'm not comfortable land fighting. Oh, full charge. Charged bites onto his body and one in his head, so he's hurt. Hmm, this is a little bit of a rough fight. Keeping one for on these charges. I'm gonna let my stand recover. Where did my combat reload? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, if you win, if you win this, right, uh, I will ask that girl if she wants to hang out on Sunday. Oh, now I have to win this. Yeah. I see a flying fish. That must be wings. It is. Yeah, that's wings. Yeah. That's that's Terry. Terry the trout. The trout. Mhm. Mm <laughs> He's backing up further. He knows he could probably take you on land. Mm-hmm. I heal faster than I think so. Mm-hmm. You just lose stamina faster on land than he does. Sadly. I can make it up there. He thinks I can't make it up there, but I can. Mm-hmm. Alright guys, I just wanted to come in here and do some commentary on this. 
As you guys can see, I'm continuously charging over and over again to basically mess with his head and make him not understand when I'm going to actually charge. As you see right here, I do go in, get a bleed in, and get a full charge into his head. Uh, so whenever I keep charging like that, it kind of makes him Hello. Hey, Wings. Hey, Wings. We're being quiet for Vu because he's not working right now, so he just doesn't want a whole lot of chatter. I'm going to talk a lot then. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, you go for it, dude. He's backing up further and further. He is really not wanting to fight. Yeah, accepting the challenge. You don't want to fight in the water. You want to go all the way on land. Ashamed if we just got dragged into the water. <laughs> you TP him into the water. <laughs> no, no, like literally just dragged. Like, like he dragged me out of the water. It's almost like he heard. Uh huh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> So right here, as you guys can see, I am waiting a long time. Not only am I trying to bait with the charge bite, but I'm also waiting for my stamina to recover. No, due to the fact oh that he gosh. keeps going further and further on land, I'm using the opportunity oh, to get my finish stamina my quest to I got maximum more potential to get, get so that when on I land, do have to push on land, balance, I'll run back but the that I far on so. land, it's why that far? This is what I don't understand. Just be a Some... bunch of hit and runs. That's literally what I people, have to do. People will expect, will accept fights, and then they'll stay like so far away. It's like, okay, well, if you want to fight, then go fight. Fine. I can, I'm doing more damage than he's doing to me. Well, that's good. Until you can lounge. Oh. He's going further back up. <clears throat> go up on the edge. I dare you to go up on that rock. I dare you. Go up here. I dare you. Oh, is he going to do the thing? I was going to do it if he uh, was going to go up there. <laughs> uh, he Aww. would not expect that. <laughs> oh, you could put that in the tutorial where it's like, little did he know, he fucked up. <laughs> He's got me way on land so that he knows I can't run back to water. That's what he's trying to do. Oh my god, this... Jax has a bunch of mastery points and this Warwick has top if I'm scared. <laughs> Just kidding, we win these, even with a hard counter. That hurt him, that hurt him big time. <clears throat> he give me four called. A four called. G. If you I am recording yes. it as we speak. <clears throat> you fighting it? I am fighting this stuff. Cool. I'm gonna stick around and watch this. I'm not gonna actually go into that fight. That's a little bit of an L over on right there. I'm almost backing up. I didn't like that charge bite to the head. No. <laughs> Come on, cutie. I'll take a claw here for this one. <laughs> that was still weak from that last fight. They do not want to fight him. It's just like no. That bleed's really stacking up. I'm gonna walk him down just because of it. Walk you down, buddy. Nah, you can't three call. I'm hungry. 
You mean four call? Yeah, he's trying to four call. My bad. I'll have mercy. I'm leaving. <laughs> Mine. My river. 